Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Rachakodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well. Peace and salutation all sincere Achim. That of course resting their lives and their freedom to bring out the Amaf, which is the truth of the Bible. Brother Mafa from Great Millstone Clean Tables Camp coming again with another lesson to the Racha Kodash. All right. Um, of course, uh, the Holy Spirit. All right. Um, we have this lesson here focused on drugs in general. Um, you know, the void that many people fill themselves or try to fill their void by administering themselves with these different opioids which do nothing but destroy the body this is off of RT and it reads drug addicted pet owners may abuse their animals to secure opioid fix study warns US vets so of course they're warning United States veterinarians all right that of course are doctors who in their practice focus on treating animals they're physicians of course for animals specifically now you have different pet owners who have the, their addiction to these different opioids which when you go into what opioid actually is just for some edification opioids is a opium like compound that binds to one or more of the three opioid receptors of the body okay you have that that's just a little dictionary um, uh, definition but this is here off of Wikipedia it says opioids are narcotics that act as an opioid receptor to produce morphine like effects medically they are primarily used for pain relief including anesthesia and other medical uses include suppression of diarrhea replacement therapy for opioid use disorder they of course try to of course um treat a opioid di addiction with another opioid and that's that's a ridic that's ridiculous you know like if you have the heroin addicts they of course take the suboxone and the methadone it's just it just of course worsens things all right and you have it because most people are seeking for a release, an escape from this wicked world. You have the wicked themselves who have no faith in which they just live without purpose. And since they want to master pain, you know, of course, uh, you know, we know that the Edomites is the so-called white uh, man. So the race of Edom, the white race, so-called, because we know they're not white, they're not pure. All right, we know that this the the Israelites are the Hebrew are the Slakia, the uh, the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, we know that um, you know because we've been put in this world. You know, a lot of our people, of course, seek to receive pain relief and take these opioids as a way of treating. You know themselves being under the curses You know being smitten smite by not madness and such And just being in this state where of course You know we're oppressed so We um Try to suppress things You know some jig I, I don't of course uh Do any opioids of course But um You know many jig do of course And they have to come out of that Cause it's doing nothing but defiling that temple And destroying you know, your equilibrium, the balance of your body. It says extremely potent opioids such as car carfenil or coffinil are approved for veterinary use. Okay, that's I mean and I don't know if they're specifically using this one, which they, they say that's extremely potent, so you know, I'm just speculating here. I mean maybe they getting on this because of the amount of potency Know, the strength of this particular opioid these different uh, opioid addicts now continue on now we're gonna hit the article it says some opioid addicts have been known to injure their pets to get their hands on powerful prescription drugs to satisfy their cravings 
It says a new study in Colorado has revealed calling for more oversight of the on drug prescription by vets, meaning veterinarians. So you have these different addicts who, of course, go and hurt their own animals, which are the beasts, just to get these different opioids. This is going to be... Actually, I have to retrieve the, the, the precepts because I have them um, not... I don't have them on the actual window, so give me a, a moment as I retrieve them. It's a book of Proverbs. The um the twelfth chapter. Give me a moment because of course this computer is being a bit slow. Shatan is doing his his best to prevent this word to come out, but it will of course come out because Yahweh Shem Shai wants it to come out. Proverbs 12 and I'll go to verse 10 and this is the precept that inspired this lesson it says a righteous man regardeth the life of his beast but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel are cruel or yes yeah, I would say but yeah, you know, so you have a righteous man, a man, uh, a man, of course, that, you know, he, he does things that are just, all right? He, of course, is going to hold fast to the, the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is telling you right here not to, of course, uh, you know, um, of course, to, rely, to regard the life of your beast. But, of course, you got the, the wicked, the so-called white man who's Esau Edom, you know, he, he, he. He will do things of this nature and seek out such iniquity such as this. Hurting your, your actual animal just to get opioids so that you can, of course, administer that to yourself for your pain relief. Which is, this is ridiculous. You got Taza da, Dayak. Look at that right, righteous. And you know, what's that? Man... Okay. Now going uh, to my next scripture. The next scripture is going to be Job 30 and 1. I'll get it. Or Ah Yawab 30 and 1. Alright, this is Job 30. I'll just go click that and it should go to it directly. And it reads But now they that are younger than I have me in derision. Who's that? Of course, you're talking about Esau, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Whose fathers I would have the same to set with the dogs um, of my flock. All right. And we know that Ayawab or Job, he, what, he's an Israelite. Simple as that. And he's here today in a reincarnation. And I'll just, of course, uh, you know, might I add. And, um... You know, this this damn devil, you know, Job is saying, like, look, I wouldn't even put him with um, my, my dogs, you know. Because when you go into it, the so-called white man is a wicked, cruel person, all right. He, of course, b believes in bestiality, you know, having sex with different an uh, animals. And that's that's the thing of wickedness. You know, you defiling that, that beast. And, of course, the beast got to be put to death. And of course, the person has to be put to death, but... In, in in this society, they don't go by righteousness. And, of course, the word dog is kalab, if you go into the Hebrew. So that you know, which, uh, you know, of course, brothers, work on your abariath. Because uh, it, it, of course, is our heritage. It's our language. The Lashwan Kodash. Okay, so, um, let me go into this word, uh, shachach, which uh, is derision. And it reads, to laugh, to play, and mock. 
to laugh usually in contempt and derision to make sport and of course the so-called white man you know he has uh you know the israelites in that condition all right i mean he's making a sort a uh, sport out of israelites by you know get putting out all of these different drugs on the street in the communities and them of course taking it and and then it just destroys their body and and kills them simple as that and not only he hurts the israelites so-called negroes latinos and the americans and if, and he hurts his own people and the rest of the heathen because they get these um, different drugs, especially being in Babal, Babylon. This is uh, Proverbs four and three, and it or four and thirteen. It says, "Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life." And of course, you know what you hear in this Bible is nothing but. Commandments, law, statutes, commandments given unto the nation of Yasha Allah. You know where you're supposed to live by, okay? It says, Enter not into the path of the wicked, which is so called white man, and go not in the way of evil men. Which, I mean, you have all these different drug dealers, which you go into it, the, the, the head drug dealers are these different um, doctors, these false physicians. Which that means, that's what doctor uh, doctor means to falsify. You know, who, whom they, they prescribe you these drugs which have different side effects. You know, that's why they say um, also in uh, Ayawab or Job, they are forges of lies, physicians of no value. And it just destroys the planet, okay? They have it to the point where, you know, they have muscles that have uh, the opioids... Um, Traces been um, found upon them, and that's wicked. You hurting the earth entirely. You hurting the beasts. Everything. This is this is ridiculous. It says, avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. You know. So if you you know being presented with a drug, you shouldn't, of course, take this. You know, you shouldn't go in the way of evil men. So, you no, know, here in the Bible, there's instruction for everything. You know, you just have to have the men of understanding. The prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rechakodash to break down these scriptures so that you can understand them and apply them to your life. You know, which this is a, uh, you know, uh, this 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 word is uh, good, of course, for for uh, learning, instruction. You know, uh, wise on to salvation. This is uh, now. I might go actually to the article and then I'll go to the next scripture. It says, uh, arguing authorities have overlooked an issue, supply and demand equation of prescription opioids in veterinary sector. The Center of Health Work and Environment at the University of Colorado on Schwich Medical Campus published the survey revealing deliberate animal abuse by drug addicted pet owners. So you have, you know, this is this is intentional these different pet owners, you know, doing just to obtain these different uh, dr drugs. It says veterinarians prescribe synthetic opioids, and, and, and that's not natural, all right? Synthetic, let's go into that word real quick. Word synthetic defined, it says, especially to imitate a natural product. So this is artificial. We got it here here in the thesaurus. You got artificials. All right. So you have something that's that's uh, not uh, real, as it says here, man-made, manufactured, fa fabricated, phony, pretend. You know, so you, you, you get these pretend, uh, you, you, you create these pretend uh, medicines, and it's doing nothing but destroying the earth, the animals, everybody, the people. It says uh, veterinarians prescribe synthetic opioids, which are a class of opioids driving the increase in drug-related overdose deaths. And what they look is going up on the uh, the deaths, you know, used by these different drug addicts, which uh, these are primarily Edomites. Okay. It says although intended for the treatment of animals. These are commercial grade pharmaceuticals that have a potential to be diverted and abused by humans. And, you know, you have these different um, 
know, I know drug addicts, they, 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 they of course, try to, to study, um, you know, what's this and that, you know. Because if, for say, they can't get their hands on something else, this is what they do, okay. It says, the case study involving some 189... Colorado veterinarians revealed the 44% of practitioners were were aware of the opioid abuse and misuse by either a client or staff member at the clinic. So you have the actual practitioners, you know, the different um, physicians, the doctors, these the veterinarians, who actually are aware of their different patients, okay? I mean, you know, their patients actually going to be a client because you know their patient is going to bring in their dog and then their dog is going to be treated and they're going to prescribe them with these opioids and then what happens they of course still give it to them simple as that you know even staff members they have it here it says another 13 percent of Animal doctors admitted to being aware that the animal owner had intentionally made the animal ill. You know, so abused the animal. It says, injured an animal or made an animal seem ill or injured to obtain opioid medications. In instances where veterinary staff engaged in opioid abuse and diversion were noted by 12% of respondents. I mean, that's basically it on it. You can, uh, of course, look more into it if you want. It's a very short article. All right. You have it here, what I had noted. U.S. opioid crisis muscles off the C off Seattle found with oxycodone, which that's an opioid, if I'm not mistaken, in their system. Um, now I'm going to hit one last precept, which is Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter in the first verse. It says, for the ungodly said, reasoning with himself, our life is short and tedious and in the death of a man there is no remedy neither was there any man known to have returned to the grave return from the grave which you know you have to understand you do come back um, after you die in a reincarnation um, you know that's you know, you, another lesson for another time but going on it says for we are born at all adventure and we shall be here after as though we have had never been for the breath in our nostrils is as smoke the spirit right and is a fire right and going to it and a little spark in the moving of our heart which being extinguished our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air uh it goes in it says um and our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance. And our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as in the mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun, and overcome with the heat thereof. For our time is a very shadow that pass away, or passeth away. And after our end, there is no returning, for it is fast sealed, so no man cometh again. And, you know, he goes into it, he's going to continue, he says, Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present. And this is the point, this is the precept of the point. I said, come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present. You know, you, you of course, here in this present life, what do you have? You have uh, all types of things uh, here. You know, earth being covered in gross darkness. You got a lot of things because of the uh, wicked of course, have turned a lot of good things into uh, things uh, for um, destroying humanity. You have them that they turn themselves to things that, um, like these opioids. It says, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in the youth. It says, let us fill ourselves with costly wines and ointments. Let no flower of the spring pass us by. And I mean, you, this is just goes into that YOLO spirit and such. And that's what mm, these uh, drug addicts have. You know, they don't have any care of their life. They um, neglect themselves, you know, by continuing to take opioids. They, of course, become homeless. Use the, They get even dogs, of course, to get uh, money when they panhandling, you know, to help uh, enable them with their addiction, you know, uh, to, to feed it, you know, to feed, the, to get the funds. 
to support it. But anyway, I'm gonna call, close out. Say call halal imla yaha bashim rashay bashim rachal kodash and double answer the elders of house of that great millstone. Hopefully, you're edified. Drug addicted pet owners may abuse their animals to secure an opioid fix. A fix. Shalom.